thank you so much for tuning in to Dizzy Miss Lizzie Alcohol Class. I'm Miss Angie, and this is a whole new thing to do virtually, and the Lancaster Arts Council has worked really hard to make this happen, and I'm just so glad to be here with y'all today, even if it's virtually. Your supplies you're going to need today are your watercolor paper, your alcohol inks, and a drinking straw. So I'll wait just a second while you get that. I hope you have all that ready. Okay, so we're going to begin. I don't know what colors you have. Everyone has different colors, I believe. So just start dabbing it on. Just splash it. Just really pretty places. And with your straw, Just blow it, it's so much fun. Next time you go to a fast food place, make sure you save your straws. Okay, um, I'm gonna put pink on next. I'm not real sure these even need to be shaken, but we'll shake them because most things do settle to the bottom. I'm using orange and pink, two of my favorite combinations. Here again, we're blowing while it's still wet. Wow, isn't that pretty? I bet yours looks even better. This is a uh, this is the product, the alcohol ink, and it dries very fast. So that's a good thing, but you really have to work fast with it. I'm going to use some more of my orange. I bet some of you have blue and green and yellow. Oh, wow, that is really looking good. Are you getting a little out of air? I am. This alcohol ink is not easy to find. It's not in with the paint or uh, the professional paint or the craft section. You'll more than likely find it in the craft store with the uh, scrapbook supplies, believe it or not. So it, it can take you a while if you don't know that to finally figure that out. <laughs> you can blow on it without the straw. This is about like Easter egg dye. If you get it on you, it's not easy to get off. What I would recommend is get um, some of your alcohol and just dab it on, and it comes right off, okay? Otherwise, you'll look like you've been dyeing Easter eggs. And you could put a little of this alcohol, pure alcohol, on it and see it'll make even different patterns. Just very, very cool. You could blow that around. How's yours looking, guys? I can't wait to see what y'all come up with. I really, really can't. I think this is one of the funnest things that anybody can do. This is something your mom's going to want to put up and won't ever take down. And like I said, you don't have to wait quite as long as uh, acrylic paint, certainly not as long as oil paint for this to dry. It does have to be dry for the next step. I'm going to put a little blue in there to see if maybe we get some purple. You know your primary colors, red and blue, make what? Purple. So let's see how that goes. Wow. And if you have yellow, you know, you mix that with orange, you get some uh, 
you mix that with red, you get even more orange. If you don't have orange, you can use yellow and red. You can just mix all these colors and you get some blacks and browns and all kind of gradients. So you just keep on till, you know, you just dab, dab, dab. And we'll dab a little together this time since it doesn't seem to be drying as fast as I feared it would. Ah, this is going to be gorgeous. I hope the smell's not getting to you. It's just a little strong. If you need to step away to get a little air, just put the pause button on any time you need to. <laughs> well, that is going to take some time to dry now that all the colors are in here and working together. Let's put a little more this blue in there. Let's see what we get. See how it's just naturally running together and making all these interesting patterns. You can keep turning the paper. Make sure you have a sheet under here to work with. Um, every Christmas we have a lot of wrapping paper left in my living room. And rather than put it in the fireplace because they say it's not healthy to do that, I just uh, um, unwrap the way it was wrapped around the package and, and fold it up and use it for my crafts. How's yours coming along, guys? All right. Yeah, the, oh, look at that. Look at that. You just kind of spray it this way. You just squeeze it a little bit. A little bit goes such a long way. all over my hand goes a long way. We're about done. I mean, if you want to cover every single space, you, you're welcome to do that because uh, when this segment ends, um, or the next segment will be putting a stencil on top and I'll show you how to do that. This will be your background, so it'll be fabulous. And blow hard, you know. Ooh, it smells. Look at that, how it spider webs around. This would be a good uh, background for a Spider Man stencil. And, and you can, you know, after we get this done and you're all finished with this project, you can see how easy it would be to put a Spider-Man stencil there or a dinosaur or a flower. And I'll be putting a flower on mine because y'all have a neat stencil, but what I brought was um, a stencil like this. So we'll be putting that and this will be our background. Okay, how's everybody coming? That's a lot of paper. It didn't look like it at first, but it's a lot to cover, isn't it, guys? I really make a mess when I paint. I really do. I really get into it. Make sure you always keep your caps on these very tightly because they will evaporate and they are rather expensive so you don't want to waste any of it because it's a small tube and it is expensive well not that expensive it's just more expensive than your crap paint but as you can see a little does go a long way okay all right all right we're going to put that aside and just let it dry and um, I think I'll just go ahead and show you how to do some stationery now. Uh, 
Okay, what you'll need for this is your card stock. You should have a piece, it's heavier than regular paper. Let's see, let me get it right. Okay, you're gonna fold it this way. Yeah, no. We're gonna fold it the other way, I'm sorry. We're gonna for fold it portrait. There we go, like this. This is eight by 10, so you fold it and it's five by seven. Okay, we're gonna get our scissors. And we're gonna cut it. Just right down where you folded it where you folded it, open it up and you'll see the line where you folded it. All right, and you're gonna fold it again, okay? And we're just gonna kinda do the same thing here. We're just, um, you may want to put a piece of paper inside because as you can see on some of these I have already done, there's the front and it not only bleeds it, it through here, it bleeds inside. And it makes a little mess in here, but it's kind of pretty. So, but if you want to avoid that, you just put in plain old piece of paper so it won't go all the way through to the back. So we're just gonna do pretty much the same thing we did with your uh, artwork here. Okay, we're gonna mix that with some pink. Well, I am, you use whatever colors you like with yours. See, it's the same process, but we're making a greeting card or stationery. And what you would do is write your message inside. Like, I use some rubber stamps on this one, and inside it says miss you. Maybe some of your friends you haven't seen in a while, or maybe your grandmother lives a long way away. I put Miss Angie on this one and a little bit of gold paint, gold alcohol ink, and I put have a nice day. Maybe you could sneak that into mommy's purse before she goes to work one day. So that's how that is. And with these two, you could put a butterfly stencil on it and paint that in. Let me get one more thing here to demonstrate. Oh, I must have put it over here, I sure did. Here's my stamp pad, here's my stamper. I have a heart stamper. Put it right there. Also, if you wanna make a cool one, you can make one really big. You could put your alcohol ink on it. And uh, here's a little trick of something you can do. This is this uh, pad, the stamp pad, and you can kind of put a little edging on it, see? And then you can uh, put, you could use any stencil you have, uh, like an apple for a teacher. You could put that on there for your teacher. You can print out things and cut them out. Here's a birthday cake, a dinosaur. You know, just put a dinosaur on it. Any, any stencils you might have. And that will work great. You can buy these at office supply places and they will fit these cards. And I'm pretty sure you can buy this size too because they sell a lot of these for wedding uh, invitations and that type of thing. So, 
we're going to need to let our, our project dry a little, lot more, it looks like, okay? And we'll get back to that real soon, okay? See you, kids.